Josh, I was going to ask you on Jalen, in what area of this game do you think he's beyond his years? Is it route running? What what area do you look at him and say, this is the type of performance you typically see from a guy who's a little more NFL experience than a rookie? I would say it's more of the intangible side of it on being able to take on bigger roles or the competitive nature or just being able to listen to coaching or it could be coaching from the other players where he's open to criticism. He doesn't take it personally and that allows him to go, okay, if I screwed this up, then I can improve on it and try to correct that the next week. I want to ask you about his, I guess, his desire to prove that he's more than a speedster. Um, does that, is that just the route choices that you guys make for him or um, how do you do that when you, obviously he's on pace to set a rookie record for, for receptions in the season. But what does it entail to show that you're a full all-purpose receiver? I think for him, just like anybody else, they don't want to be pigeonholed into, I just do this, I just do that. So the more that you can do, it ultimately helps us because we can put you in different positions. And the goal on all that is to create pressure on the defense to try to move the ball down the field. So if you can do all that and you can add to your game and you can, you can block and do the press and roll and you can go um, you know, run a short route, run a deep route, run a catch and run, run a screen, then hopefully it applies pressure on people. And uh, he just wants to win. So the more that he can do to help us, I know he's always open to and, and open to, to having more opportunities to do that. As it relates to Jalen, obviously we're all writing about him because he's playing well. Can you think of like the first moment where you thought to yourself, whether it was in practice, a game, film review, whatever, where you thought to yourself, okay, that, that's pretty good. Like, we got something here. Uh, yeah, there was. It, was. it was back in Davy, uh, right when he got here. He caught a, he's caught an end cut, and he was just rolling. You can tell he caught it and basically ran away from everybody, and it just it sticks out. I mean, you guys been in that indoor back in Davy. It's a little weird on the lighting. It kind of feels like you're in a, in a outer space or something. But it's he, he caught it and his rolling. Okay, that, that's different speed. That would be the first one that kind of stuck out. So that would have been like a spring practice. Yeah, spring yeah. Practice. It would have been back in uh, back in OT. I couldn't tell you know when it was June or whatever it was. And but in Sunday's game, he on the 50 plus yarder. His yeah. Speed was recorded as one of the five fastest, according to Travis Winfield, in the NFL this season on a reception. What did you notice about his sort of, you know, burst acceleration top speed? Uh, right when he caught it, the angle I had, I knew he had a chance to, to go a long ways. I didn't see where Jackson was. I mean, Jackson can fly too. So who knows what that would have been if they would have had the tracker on him. But uh, the speed is definitely real. And you could tell once he caught him, I mean, there was, there was a burst. The one on, on there, he doesn't have the tracker on it, but he, he ran the guy down, which I think was even more impressive for, I think it was Atlanta, a uh, guy got interception. And he hawked him on that, which was great effort. And he might have had, a, like I said, a higher speed on that. He's down the ball in his hands. I absolutely think that he was faster on that play. That was the fastest I've seen Jalen Waddle run in person. Yeah, he, he, he was rolling for sure. Josh, the skill of being able to get open, which he does all the time, short to intermediate routes, how impressive is that skill for him? What allows him to do it? I think he understands the leverages and attacking it and, and getting on edges and um, just trying to create the separation, but also knowing that there's a timing. Like, this is the NFL. You know, these guys are, are coming after the quarterback quick. So you can sit there and win the round one on ones and we're you know, on air, but you got to do it on time, too, because the ball's got to come out. So uh, I think he's understanding that more and more. Are skills advanced or you think well above average in terms of being able to get open? Uh, yeah, I'd say it's better, you know, better than average for sure on attacking angles and trying to create separation. Yeah, I mean, he's, he's quick twitched. I mean, he, he can run. So because Will Fuller has been unavailable, and in the last four weeks at least, Devontae Parker has been available, Jalen's strong play, it's coming a nice time, obviously. I'm wondering, is there anything about those players' absence that has created different or more opportunities for Jalen? Uh, I say just week to week. You know, it's always like we talk about it, it's about the matchups, who they're going against, what's the scheme, how does all that fit together. Um, he's making the most of the opportunities that have came his way. But whether it was last week or this week, whoever's out there trying to put those guys in a position to make plays and and ultimately again just score and move the ball on the field. So I think whatever role that is for him, he makes the he takes advantage of it and tries to to make the most of the opportunities he gets. John. Do you think because of his speed, which, which is so attention-grabbing, that maybe Jalen's route-running ability was overlooked? 
I don't know. I think that whether it's him or anybody else, they're kind of a product of what they've been asked to do. So if you have certain schemes and it doesn't make it right, wrong, or indifferent, but if you're asked to do this and do that and you do it at a high level, uh, then it looks good. Now, if you can add to that and and handle more and handle different routes, then uh, that's always something like we just talked about where it's just going to add to your uh, – Add to your, your your repertoire on what you can use. Um, have you seen if Matt Collins and Philip Lindsay are sporting the same hairstyle at this time? <laughs> yeah, I, th I think it is. It's uh, a little bit Albert too. You can see you can see some of that. Uh, but no, it's definitely when they, they pop the helmet off. It's uh, it sticks out compared to a lot of guys. Those three guys seem to have like really positive energy and juice, don't they? Like, do they? How would you describe the sort of mindset that? Uh, it, I've been around Phil for only what you know a few days, uh, so I don't want to speak on that too much. Just not knowing that much, but you can tell from the game, just bringing the energy. I think Mac, I mean, for the last three years, he's really Albert for the same you know time, if not four, just bringing juice, being positive, trying to keep guys up. And then if there is a negative play, just trying to move on to the next play, because. Uh, whether it is Mac or Albert, I mean, those guys have played a lot of ball and seen a lot of things, and just know that you just gotta, like I said, great play doesn't matter. Bad play doesn't matter. You just got to move on. How does the waddle waddle compare to some of the great celebrations of our time, <laughs> such as, for example, the Icky Wood Shuffle? Have you got another one? Oh, the Icky Shuffle. Another one? The, the Dion Two Step. Dion Two Step. That was, that, that was a good one, What's too. What's your favorite celebration of what did Cam Wake? Jason Taylor did a part, right? Was he the one who did the, who did the run in the punch? He punched through it. Yeah. Taylor had the heart. I gotta be gotta be biased with our guy. You know, <laughs> we're around him all day. We can't we can't go with anybody else. Do you remember but. the first time you saw the waddle waddle? Uh, that one doesn't stick out as much. We just know that if it happens, it's good because we just scored. <laughs>